VLC Remote allows us to control our VLC player located on our Mac or our PC directly from our iPhone. Now, VLC player is an alternative media player to those fixed media players that typically come on computers, even including iTunes, which a lot of them are limited to the types of media that they can play. VLC player does a good job of playing a wide variety of different formats. So I have installed the helper application that is available on the developer's website. So you would go to the developer's website and of course install that on your computer and then be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you can see we are and then I simply check my computer and you know it's good to go because it has that little icon next to it. Now it's going to bring me right to where I left off with my last video that I was playing. I happen to have Born Ultimatum playing and so I'm looking at my timeline right here. I also have a uh, time adjustment that I can go and just kind of flick my way to the time then I have my volume down below. So all I have to do is simply hit play and now it's jumped me right back into the movie I can adjust the volume If I want to go full screen, I tap full screen and it goes full screen on my monitor. One more tap and it goes right back. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. So I'll go ahead and hit stop here. So this is the screen, the remote screen that we would actually be using most of the time. We have different items that we can use here. We can use the basic DVD uh, up, down, left, right. Uh, but there is an application that we would have to install uh, additionally on our computer in order to do that. Of course this stuff is free. The VLC player is free uh, as is the helper application. One more tap and it takes us right back to recent items that we've played. So if I wanted to go and play some other videos that I have played I can go ahead and just tap right on those. Of course I could also go to the playlist here that it has been creating since I've been playing items as well. We also have different shuffle and repeat modes down here and then of course I could empty that entire playlist if I wanted to. Right here it allows us to go and actually search our computer for files. So it is now uh, connecting to my computer and letting me see the different file locations so that I could go and grab my media. So in this case I would go down to volumes, I'd go to my media drive, and inside my iTunes drive I have a movies folder where I have all of my movies and I could scroll through all of my movies and then decide on uh, what movie I wanted to play and I could just go and tap on that and then tap on it to play it and it'll go ahead and just launch it right on my computer which of course is off screen right now and then I can play that movie and uh, so let's go back to the remote you can see that it has loaded everything up into the remote so this is a very very neat remote player it has so much functionality if you've used the remote that, that Apple has came out with for iTunes yeah there are some interesting functionality there but this really takes it to the next level and allowing you to completely control the media that's on your computer and gain access to it so now if you wanted to use your PC or your Mac as a media device hooked up to your TV or something like that using VLC remote would make it really easy for you to view all your media gain access to it control it right from your iPhone from the comfort of your own couch or easy chair so definitely check out VLC remote in the App Store today